President Wari is a compassionate and merciful leader, says BMO. Plus, do your government a favor by releasing Unambi Kanu or Anese tells Buari. As Northern Group says, the arrest of Kanu and Igbo is evidence of effective intelligence by DSS. Hi guys, this is the JMTV Daily News update. Buari Media Organization has called President Mamadou Buari as a compassionate and merciful leader with his approval of a fourth multi billion naira bailout for state in six years. The group said this in a statement signed by its chairman, Niyu Akisunju, and Secretary Kasidi Maduke, that the decision to disburse 656 billion naira to be shared among the 36 states as a budget support facility was totally unexpected. According to the group, we were pleasantly surprised when Finance Minister Zainab Ahmed first dropped the hint in Lagos about the President's approval of yet another bailout for the state at a time they were beginning to repay three previous bailout facilities extended to them. At the time, many Nigerians did not know what to expect until the meeting of the National Economic Council NEC, where it was revealed that each of the 36 states would get 18.2 billion naira in six tranches over the next six months to be repaid over a 30-year period starting from 2023. This is truly unprecedented and not even in the oil boom year of the People's Democratic Party PDP did the country witness anything close to this. We invite Nigerians to note that the first ever bailout by the Bari administration was within the first few months of the president's assumption of office when it became obvious that no fewer than 27 states were having difficulties in paying worker salaries and pensions. Another trance of bailout was in 2016 while a third was disbursed in 2017 with President Muhammadu Buhari specifically insisting that state governors should prioritize payment of salaries when it was obvious that many states again had several backlog of unpaid salaries. So as surprisingly as a fourth bailout in six years is, it is totally in the character of a president who is so compassionate and merciful that he once asked some governors how they could sleep at night knowing that worker salaries has not been paid. It said, the Buari Movement Organization expressed hope that state governors will use the fund judiciously on projects and initiatives that would have direct bearings on the populace of their states. This is PDGM TV Daily News update. Meanwhile, on other news, the Oranese Indibo has said that President Muhammadu Buhari would be doing his government a huge favor by ordering an unconditional release of Mazuna Bikanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, who has been incarcerated in the dungeon of the DSS since he was kidnapped back from Kenya. The Oranese Indibo said this in the response to the protest by Key Northern Group to the appeal made by other statesman Chief Umbazilike Ameshi, the Igbo group in a statement by its Secretary General Mazio Keshuku Isigurozu said illegal extradition of Mazuna Bikanu from Kenya left the government with no option that to free the indigenous people of Biafra leader. Johannes Indigo cautioned the Northern leadership especially the Arewa Consultative Forum, ACF, and the coalition of Northern groups to desist from finding the embers disunity, stressing that they should allow President Mamadou Buhari do his job by getting Unabdikan released immediately. Sigurosu noted that the unity of the country is superior to all arguments 
that the ACF and CNG are canvassing. It is an absurdity for the Northern leadership to resort to pertinence in all issues concerning the Southeast, especially when it is in the best interest of the country and a survivor. It is the prerogative of the president to either choose from actions that will lead to the disintegration of the country or retreat from the promotion of nepotism, which was responsible for the actions of the indigenous people of Biafra. The secretary also said that the RUI Consultative Forum would reap the benefit should Buhari refuse to free Unambi Kanu, warning that Nigeria may go up in flames. He said that the Ariwa Consultative Forum, by its current stand, has put itself up as an exponent of Nigeria's breakup and disintegration. Buhari is not doing Indibu any favor over Unambi Kanu, but it's a must decision to save his government from the allegation of human rights violation and a clamp down on the critics of his government when the real terrorists are being pampered. Igbo leaders led by Pa Umazilike and Meshi offered Buari a soft landing spot to save the federal government from further embarrassment before the international community. So the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Muhammadu Buari, is doing his government a favor, not in the bull, to release Mazuna Bikanu as the international community is watching if he will succumb to the pressure of the North, not to correct the lapses before the watchful eyes of the entire world. This is CDGM TV Daily News update. Meanwhile, some civil society group have reacted to media reports credited to a coalition of NGOs questioning the efficiency of the intelligence gathering architecture in Nigeria. The groups include Citizen Action for Better Nigeria, Arewa Youth Forum, and Consigned Citizen of Northeast Region in a statement issued to newsmen in Abuja and signed by their leaders Smart Edward, Adamu Matuzu and Malam Idris Mohamud respectively wondered why anyone would cast aspiration on the capacity and professionalism of Nigeria's intelligence architecture. According to the group, the arrest of Unam Bikanu, the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra IPOP, and Sunday Igbo, Yoruba agitator, is evidence of effective intelligence by the Department of State Service DSS and Defense Intelligence Agency DIA. We are dismayed to note that certain unscrupulous elements who stock in trade is paddling falsehood could question the role of the Department of State Service Security and the Defense Intelligence Agency. These are top performing agencies that are at par with their sister agencies like the FBI, CIA and KGB to say they are not performing is treasonable act, the statement added. Recalling the outstanding actings of both the DSS and the DIA in arresting the duo of Maznam Dikanu, the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, and Sunday Adeyemo, aka Sunday Igbo, the Yoruba agitator. The group is amazed that anywhere meaningful Nigeria, we underplay this giant stride and seek rather blackmail officers and men who put their lives on the line for the service of their fatherland. We make bold to say that the arrest of Mazuna Bikanu of the IPOP and Sunday Bo of Ududua Republic, as well as other top arrests and clamp down on errant citizens bent on destabilizing the country, is nothing but the pure work of professionals who infiltrate enemy lines to gather information as it is never done anywhere else. Nigerians will not be in the haste to forget the fact that the southeastern part of Nigeria was a flashpoint of criminal activities. The Anambra election almost did not hold until the military and DSS stepped in, flushing the bad eggs and making the southeast safe. This is a job well done and worthy of commendation instead of criticism. If intelligence gathering is enough, America would not have experienced the tragedy of September 11. The IRA wouldn't have stopped bombing British town and Israel would have been free from the attack of Hamas and Abolas, the statement added. The group therefore urged Nigerians to support the security agencies with credible intelligence as security was everybody's business. It also called on the DSS and the DIA to discontinue what they describe as ranting by enemies of the state 
whose only desire was to plot evil against Nigeria and our leaders. This is DJ MTV Daily News update. So guys, here we have it. We have seen the Northern Group talking about the Ariwa Quantitative Forum and the Coalition of Northern Group coming out to say that the DSS and the DIA are working and the arrest of Mazuna Bikanu and the um, Yoruba Nation agitator is an evidence to show that they are working. But a lot of Nigerians have said that um, Mazuna Bikanu was not arrested but he was kidnapped from Kenya. And also Sunday Adeyemo Ibo was not arrested in Nigeria but was arrested in Benin Republic. So um, some Nigerians have come to criticize the Northern Coalition Group saying that the DSS never had anything to do with the arrest of the duo. They only kidnapped one of them which is Mazuna Bikanu and also raided the home of Sunday Adeyemo aka Sunday Igbo. So guys, what do you have to say concerning what the Northern Group have just said concerning uh, the arrest of Mazuna Bikanu? Also, the ONS Enibo has told Buari that he's doing his government a favor and not um, in the boat. That it's better release Mazuna Bikanu unconditionally. Again, we also saw the Buari movement organization who has said that Buari is a compassionate and merciful um, president. And this is contrary to what other Nigerians think. What do you think about that? Drop your comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for staying with us today. Very end of this video. Do not forget to go a step further if you've not done so. Please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Also, do not forget to like and share this video. Do follow us on all our social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and also check out our website at www.djmtv.net. Guess what, guys? From the 1st of August 2021, DJMTV offers you an opportunity to report your events from where you are on our channel. We we'll call it Report Yourself to the World. You want to be a part of this great program? Then please click on our bow, send us a message, and we'll give you details on how to report yourself to the world. They are coming away again with another exciting edition of DJM TV Daily News Update. I remain your host, Laburu Faith. Yeah!